Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a really cool tool from Wondershare. It's called Demo Creator, and if you've ever struggled to give a professional online presentation, or a screen recording, or if you're just making a tutorial for your audience, well, this is a tool that's gonna greatly help you out, especially when it comes down to making your videos look much more professional. A really quick note here, right after I completed this video, a newer version of Demo Creator was released, so make sure you check out the link down below to access the newest version of Demo Creator. So here we are within Wondershare's Demo Creator. I'm gonna first cover the recording process or screen recording process and show you what awesome features it has that no other software does. So here it is, I'm gonna click on new recording. And if you've been following my YouTube channel, you'll know that I do a lot of tutorials that involve screen recording. So this is a tool that I'm using quite a bit. All right, so here is our cockpit right here. You can see that this software records your webcam and it records your screen. You can adjust the screen real estate size right here by dragging and you know dragging this box around. Uh, you can also uh, do pre-made zones right here by changing the resolution. You can also decide what audio you want Demo Creator to record. We can use the MacBook Pro speakers that I'm currently using. Now, under the recording scheme here, we have two different options. The Export Express, which will immediately export your screen recording so you don't really have to edit it, or you can export it into their built-in video editing software, which is what I'm gonna be showing you today as well. So I'm just gonna hit record right here. It's gonna give you a three-second countdown and boom, we are recording right now. Now what's really unique and comparing it to all the other screen recorders that I've used in the past is that up here, we can actually draw shapes, we can highlight certain things uh, right onto the screen recorder live. That's something very unique. I haven't seen that before. You can draw different shapes, you can highlight different things right here. If I click and drag, you can see that it highlights my cursor as I go around my screen. So that's something that, again, haven't seen before, really love it. And you can see the timer here. We also have a pause button up here. You can pause the recording, continue the recording. Now you're starting to see how important this tool is, especially if you're doing a lot of tutorials on video editing or photo editing. Uh, this thing will allow you to highlight everything specifically. Now let's say we're done with the recording. I'm gonna hit on the stop button right here. And what it's gonna do is that it's gonna automatically dump my video coming in from the screen recorder and the webcam and the audio, it's gonna dump it into this built-in video editing software, which is really cool. So you can see that it looks very similar to Wondershare Filmora. They made the same color scheme and so forth, so you can see how easy it actually is. Now, my computer is lagging just a little bit just because I am doing two screen recordings at the same time, so that's why. But as you can see here, we have our audio, webcam, and we have our screen recording. You can see that I can make adjustments any way I want. I can make this larger, I can bring back the screen recording, and we can make a lot of different adjustments as you see right here. Now let's say I want to add subtitles. Well, with a lot of Wondershare software, we now have AI built in. So all we have to do is click on the audio track, go to captions, and then click on auto caption, and then start to recognize. Then you can select which language you want, and I'm gonna keep it at English United States, click OK, and let's see how it does. All right, the captions have been generated. You can see them right here. If we play it back, you can see that the captions, for the most part, are very accurate. A lot of people watch videos on mute or just have captions on in general, so this is a very useful tool. You can also adjust the style of the captions, so you can change them, and you can also, of course, change the text going right here in these options. So you can change the letter spacing, font, italics, even the rotation of the text. So yeah, a lot of different options here. Now another great tool is AI for the video portion. So if we bring back my webcam footage right here, we can click on it, then we can go to effects, advanced, and I can actually blur my background right here in this video editor. 
So I'm just gonna drag and drop it to the webcam clip and boom, it's gonna automatically just blur everything out in the background. You can see right here. Now let's have a look at AI recognition and it's basically gonna remove the background and we can place whatever we want behind me. Just drag and drop it to the webcam clip. We can click on it and you can see that it, <laughs> it created a background for me. I look a little crazy here, but I think you understand the gist of it. Now I wanna cover some other tools regarding the audio because audio is very important, especially if you're doing these recordings or a live stream. Well, you can actually use their denoising feature and this is gonna eliminate a lot of ambient noise. You can also eliminate hissing by clicking on this option here. This is all analyzed by AI and you can even do a voice changer. So you can convert your voice to a woman's child's. You can even make a robot voice or a transformer's voice. So you have all of those options right here as well as speed. So you can increase the speed and decrease the speed. Once you're happy with everything in your screen recording, you can go to the export option right here and you can select your resolution. You can also use there are different presets that they have here for YouTube, TikTok, and Vimeo. But I'm gonna stick to this PC. I'm gonna keep it at MOV, which is the format that I usually export in. Here's the directory where you want it to be exported it to, and you can also back it up on Wondershare as a cloud. So I'm gonna keep the preset at high, highest resolution, 24 frames per second frame rate, and I'm gonna click on export. Now back on the home screen of Demo Creator, we have another important feature, and that is video presentation. So you can actually do live PowerPoints, live slideshows right here, and you can connect it to via Zoom or any other social meeting platform. And you can also use the basic screen recording right here under demo and record. And similar to the video recorder, we can blur the background. You can also change the aspect ratio of the webcam, similar to how I did the screen recording. And you can make it a circle, which actually is one of my favorites. And of course, you can just adjust the size and the position of the webcam throughout the whole entire screen. You can add different screens also. You can change the background of the screens. You can do the partly cloudy option. You just drag and drop it and you can see here it adds some motion as well. And of course you can always add text, you can draw, and you can change that area of where we can do those adjustments by clicking on these blue corners right here. And you can see how it's adjusting and resizing the markings that we did and we can constantly go back and forth between the two different screens that we made so I would recommend that you pre-make all of these screens before you go live streaming so it's built kind of like PowerPoint and you can change back and forth between these screens and live stream it while you do it so everything is built in directly into demo creator so if you teach a lot, if you make a lot of tutorials online, definitely consider using Demo Creator now. And check out the link down below, download it, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.